I have been using the Note MCO ESP8266 and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth modules for years in different RD based projects for monitoring different types of sensors and for controlling AC and DC loads. Today's project is completely different from my previous projects because this time around we are not using any IoT platform. These two boards will connect with each other through Wi-Fi. And one more thing I would like to mention is that we don't need a Wi-Fi router or a hotspot for this project. Anyway, we are going to use ESP8266 as the transmitter and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module as the receiver. So here is the prototype model. On the transmitter side, I have connected some switches with the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. And on the receiver side, I have connected 110 or 220 volt AC bulbs with the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. You can also connect DC loads. It depends on what you want to control. Anyway, let's proceed to power up the transmitter and receiver sides. When the 110 or 220 volt AC supply is connected, never touch the relay contacts because such high voltage can be fatal. So as far as possible wear protective gloves and perform such high voltage experiments in the presence of a friend or any companion. Instead of using these types of switches, you can also use push buttons. This will not only reduce the size of your transmitter but also lower the cost. Instead of using the ESP32 Wi-Fi module on the receiver side, you can also use the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. However, one advantage of using the ESP32 module on the receiver side is that you can modify it in the future. As you may know, the ESP32 also includes a Bluetooth module. So you can design your own Android application for controlling the loads. This way you will be able to control the loads both from the transmitter and your smartphone. Anyway, as you can see, the communication is fast and I don't see any fast triggering. In comparison to a regular Bluetooth module, its range is also greater. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the connections. Four switches are connected to the Note MCO ESP8266 Wi-Fi module digital pins D1, D3, D5 and D7. This is the 5-fold regulated power supply based on the 7805 linear voltage regulator. This power supply is optional. While performing your initial experiments, you can use your laptop or PC to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. You can also use a power bank, lithium-ion battery or a LiPo battery to power up the Node MCU module. You can follow this circuit diagram. It doesn't matter if you don't have a development board like this, you can do the same exact connections on a breadboard. Four SPRT type relays are connected to the ESP32 GPIO pins 12, 13, 14 and 27. You must connect AC or DC loads between the common and normally open contacts of the relays. These are the freewheeling diodes connected across the relay coil pins. You can use one in four 007 diodes. I'm using a pair of 10 kilo ohm and 2 in 2222 NPN transistor to control each relay. You can follow this circuit diagram. If you want to use the Arduino IDE for programming the ESP32 and ESP8266 Wi-Fi modules, then first of all, you will need to install these ports in the Arduino IDE. Because by default, no ESP32 and ESP8266 boards are installed in the Arduino IDE and you can confirm this by going to the tools menu. Then to board and you can see there are no ESP32 and ESP8266 boards in the list. So first, let's go ahead and install the ESP32 board. For this, go to my website and copy this board manager URL link. Then go back to the Arduino IDE. Go to the file menu. Then preferences and paste this link in the additional boards manager URLs. Next, go to the tools menu. 
then board and click on the ports manager. Search for the ESP32. You can see we have Arduino ESP32 boards and ESP32 by Expressive Systems. So make sure you install this one and don't forget to select the latest version. Finally, the board installation has been completed and now we can confirm this by going to the board list. You can see all the different variants of the ESP32 board have been added. Now, let's install the ESP8266 board. Just follow the same exact steps, but this time we will use a different board manager URL link. Put a comma and paste the link. You can see the ESP8266 boards have also been added in the list. Now we can use the Arduino IDE for programming the ESP32 and ESP8266 Wi-Fi modules. This is the transmitter side programming and this is the receiver side programming. On the transmitter side, you will need the MAC address of the receiver. This is the MAC address of my receiver that is the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. So make sure you replace this address with your MAC address. Now, you might be thinking how to find the make address. Well, it's very simple. Copy this program from our website electronicclinic.com and upload it into your ESP32 module. Open the serial monitor. Copy this make address and paste it in the transmitter side programming. Don't forget to remove the columns and 80x with the numbers. Finally, upload the programs and start controlling your home appliances. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.